I'm Chanel from App Themes, and in this tutorial, I'll give you a general overview of the Vantage theme. Vantage allows you to easily create a business directory that you can have up and running after only a few minutes. I'll head to my admin dashboard and we'll configure some general settings now. Once you download the Vantage theme, which I've already done, you'll see four tabs show up on your admin dashboard. They'll be Vantage, Payments, Listings and Forms. These all relate to the Vantage app theme. For new users, the first thing I advise to do is go to your settings of your WordPress account and under General, you'll see something that says Membership and if you check this, anyone can register. Once you check this, on the front of your site, this will enable this register button at the top. By enabling this, it will allow potential customers to come on and register for an account leading to them creating an ad. Now we'll just head back to our admin dashboard. Under Vantage, if we click on settings, we'll need to just configure a few things. Most things can be left as default, although you may wish to customize. So under general and appearance, you'll see listings per page. This is where you can choose how many ads you'd like to show on each of your pages. So I'm just gonna leave mine as 10 for now. But if you've changed this, you'll need to click save changes. The choices of listings are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, or 50. The next tab in Vantage settings is listings. Under listings, if you wish to charge for your ads, you'll need to tick this box. That will allow you to start accepting payments from your customers. I'd now like to draw your attention to the Maps tab. This is where you'll need to enter in an API key to start using Google Maps. You can find more information in our documentation page on this. The next step in setting up the Vantage app theme is to set up your payments. So we'll need to go to the Payments tab and to Settings. So under the General Settings, you'll need to pick the currency you'd like to use. So I'm just going to stay with the US dollar and you'll need to pick the symbol and the position of your symbol. If you want to have tax applied, this is where you'll enter this. And you'll need to pick which gateway you'd like to use for payments. We've got the option of bank transfer or PayPal, or you can enable both. And we'll just save those changes made. Under bank transfer, if this is a payment gateway you're using, you can simply enter in a short message um, that will be displayed once a successful customer has checked out. And under the PayPal tab, if you've chosen to use PayPal, you'll need to enter in your PayPal email address. And if you've got a Premier or a business account, simply check this box. Under the PayPal settings is also where you can enable PDT and instant payment notification. If you wish to have advertisements that have reoccurring payments, you'll need to check this box or IPN before you move on. If you've made any changes, just ensure you save those. Now that we've configured general, Vantage settings and payment settings, we'll move on and we'll just ensure that our homepage has been configured. So under Pages, just make sure that you've got something similar to this. It will say Home, Front Page. And we'll also just need to ensure that our blog page is there, it is there. So this is where you can edit the um, featured images. So for home, you just click on this page and you can edit the featured image here, which will then show up on your front page. And the same goes for your blog. So we click on this blog post page. This is where you'll edit the featured image, which will then show on the top of your blog. To add a blog post, you'll simply just go to Posts, Add New, say if we call our post um, Puppies, and we want to add a featured image for that, set featured image. Once we publish that out, it will then show up in our blog. As you can see, it showed up right there. Now we head back to the dashboard. I'd just like to show you the listings. If you click on listings, this is where all your site's listings will be shown. You can add a new listing from the back end of your site or alternatively, your customers can add a listing from the front end. 
I'll quickly run through how to add a new listing for the purpose of this tutorial. So you just go up and add new and you'll need to give it a title. So for this one, I'm going to go with dog grooming, stick with the dog theme of this site and add in description here if you'd like. So now I'm just going to scroll down and you'll need to pick a listing plan. So you can pick for how many days you'd like your ad to be listed. So I'll just stick with 30. Or alternatively, you can pick when it will expire. You can choose to have it featured on the homepage. So I'll do that for this ad. And then again, you can pick how long you'd like it to be on the homepage for. So I'll give five days for this one. And you can pick when that expires. So from five days, that's worked. And you can feature on a category. So I'll just leave that one for now. And this is where you'll put in the contact infinite information. So we're just going to go Sydney phone. You can add a website, email, and some social media. And here is where you can make this a claimable listing. Um, this will allow other customers that come on or users to claim this listing as their own. For example, if I add a dog grooming listing, um, and the actual groomer sees this and they want to claim that as their own, they can. So I'll click yes so you can see this. If we scroll down, I've completed everything. So I'll publish that one off. I'll just add a featured image actually. So we'll just go with the dog again. And I'll update that. Now I'll view that listing. So this would be my listing and someone can come on and claim the listing. So if I was the owner of this dog grooming salon, I could click claim listing. And then I need to choose a pricing plan. So if I'm just going to go with the free one, um, I'll pick a category. So it's free listing for now. Um, it said that I've claimed it and it's just waiting for admin to approve that now. I hope this tutorial has helped you configure your general settings, your Vantage settings, payment settings, create a blog post and create a listing. If you still have any questions or queries, feel free to email us.